everybody, so today for you guys I'm going to be doing uh, this collab video with DesiGal1010 here on YouTube. She is somebody that contacted me asking me if I want to do a collab with her and I've actually been a fan of her channel now for the past you know, few months. She's commented on some of my videos here and there so I've checked out her channel and she does really really great quality videos. She's just very knowledgeable. She has the coolest accent too because she's Indian so I really really enjoy watching her videos and I will have her link down below but the idea that we decided to come up with is, or actually she came up with it and I was like yeah that's a good idea. Um, was our top favorite spring nail polishes or our top picks for spring nail polishes. I have five. We didn't really like limit it to a number, but I figured I'd do five. That way I had them all on my fingers and you guys could see what they look like. And honestly, I was trying to come up with maybe 10, but I was like, that's way too much. You know, we'll, we'll stick with five. Um, all these are pretty affordable. I'm not somebody who buys really expensive nail polishes. I don't buy anything from Butter London or Deborah Lippman or anything like that. Um, it's just too pricey for me. And honestly, there are amazing quality polishes polishes at the drugstore. So I'm just going to get onto it and show you guys my favorites. So this is not really necessarily a part of my favorites, but just kind of as my general base coat and top coat, I thought I would show you guys in case you're wondering how I get my nails to kind of look the way they do. Because if you have a crappy nail polish, if you have a good base coat and a good top coat, you can really make the crappy nail polish look a lot better. So the base coat that I always use is the Revlon Colorstay Gel Smooth Base Coat. I know that a lot of YouTubers really like this and for good reason. It's cheap. It really gives your nail polish something to glide onto. It fills in the ridges. It gives it a little bit of shine and overall it just preps the nails really, really nicely. And then always as my top coat, this is like a new holy grail product for me. I absolutely love this product. I've only had it now for about two months, but it has just completely changed the way I do my nails. And it's the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. It I don't know like why I was late on the whole bandwagon on like fast drying top coats. I seriously never use them in my entire life until recently. But if you're somebody who likes to change up their nail colors often or if you're like me and you just can't be bothered to paint your nails a lot of the time because they just take so freaking long to dry this thing will change your life basically you can apply your polish you know apply your two coats or whatever and then you just wait two minutes for them to dry you can kind of do your whatever Ooh, as I hit my shelf you can kind of do your thing or your thing whatever you decide to do for like two minutes and then apply this and literally within 15 seconds your nails are dry it's really the only reason I'm able to do this video right now because I seriously just got done painting my nails like two minutes ago so it's awesome they're completely dry I could go blow dry my hair I could go pack clothes I could do anything I want my nails aren't gonna get ruined so it leaves your nails extremely shiny and just beautiful and oh I could sing the praises of this all day it's just absolutely amazing but let's get on to the actual fun colored polishes so the first one that I have here is from Went Wild and this is one that whenever I'm wearing it in a video all of you comment and ask me what polish it is and it's funny because it's a very very simple color it's kind of like a nudie pink this is called um, Sugar Coat, and it's from their Mega Last line, which is one of my favorite lines of nail polishes ever. I think these run about $2.99, and they are so freaking good. Um, I have it on my thumbs today, so here's kind of a look at that if you want to see it closer. Sorry for the cuticle messes because um, I, like I said, I just got done painting them so the cuticles are a little bit bad. But it's just a nice nudie pinky kind of shade. I think it's one of those nudes that could flatter anybody because it's kind of almost white and so um, it's not something that's like too skin tone. Because some nude polishes make your nails look terrible. They make you look almost like you have dead fingers or something. It just looks really bad. This is one that is just nice and it's bright and it is really, really simple, appropriate for work, appropriate for whatever and it just makes your nails look so much better than if you don't have any polish on them at all. So I really, really like this. It's just a perfect spring kind of everyday color. And then this is one of my favorite polishes like of all time. I seriously love this nail polish. So whenever it's spring or summer, I like bring this baby out because I love it. This is the Simple Colors Polish in the shade Song of Summer. I briefly touched on some of these in my spring fling tag, but um, here's a look at that. I have that on my pointer finger. So it is just true to the bottle, super, super, super opaque. Like you could pretty much get away with one coat of this stuff. Just so, 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 so pretty. I love it. It's just the most perfect mint pastel -y green shade. I don't even know how to describe it because it's not really like a true mint green. It doesn't have like enough blue in it to be like a mint green really, but it's just such a pretty kind of pastel -y light green. It's absolutely beautiful, really re unique. You know, I've never been able to find anything like it and I just love it. And then I have some more Revlon polishes here to show you. This first one here is called Cafe Pink. This is on my middle finger. 
fingers, so sorry, I'm having to give you the finger here a little bit, but there's it right there as well. Um, it's just like the most beautiful baby pink kind of shade. It's a little bit sheer than some of the other colors that I'm going to mention. It's probably the sheerest out of the bunch next to this shade. Even this shade after two coats for being such like a sheer kind of light pink, nudie kind of color is quite opaque. This is almost a polish that you would need three coats to get like complete opaque coverage out of. Um, I do only have two on this finger, so you can see it's pretty opaque, but it's not like a super, super intense baby pink, but it is just the perfect baby pink. It's so pretty. I love the color stain nail polishes from Revlon because they don't chip very easily and they stay on really nice. And then another color stain polish that I have here is called Province, and this is like the most beautiful lavender shade. It is so pretty. That's on my ring finger. Super, super, super gorgeous. I just absolutely love this shade. It's just your beautiful, basic, dusty lilac. Really, really appropriate for spring. And then finally, I have this color from Essie, and this is called um, Cote Azure, and it's just a very nice, um, I don't even know how to describe the shade, to be honest. It's kind of like a really intense sky blue, almost. And this is one of those colors that I think is perfect for spring, because it's not like as bright and as vivid as some blues are that I think would fit more in for, you know, summer. It is kind of subdued. It is honestly my favorite blue polish that I own, because it's just so unique. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It kind of has this like floating pearl to it too. So it, while it is kind of a cream finish, as you can tell, that's what I prefer. I don't like shimmery nail polishes. It does have just the tiniest amount of shimmer, like very, very fine. Like I said, it's almost like a, just the floating pearl. If you guys have the Urban Decay Electric palette, you know what I'm talking about. Just that like really pretty, just gives it a little bit of something extra, but it's by no means like really shimmery. It's definitely got like more of a cream base formula to it. So pretty. I just, uh, every single time I use this, I just fall in love with it. And the awesome thing about this too is you only need one coat. So here is kind of a close up of all the polishes. There's that Wet n Wild one, Sinful Colors one, the two Revlon ones, and then the Essie one. And yeah, that is it. These are my top nail picks for spring. Um, like I said, all these are really, really affordable, and I really, really love each and every single one of these colors. So I sort of have this weird color combination right now going on on my nails, but I think I'm going to keep it around. I think it's kind of pretty. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found this helpful. Don't forget to check out Desi Gale's channel. I will have it linked down below. Definitely go subscribe to her, tell her that I sent you, and just send some love over her. And also watch her top spring nail picks. I'm really, really excited to see what she has. But anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.